Whatever, you could do whatever you want. I don't think you. so. Hey, if we are <laughs> live, let me know. We're live right now. Let me know. I'm gonna we're zip live. my mouth. We're live right zip now. your mouth. You gotta open your mouth once we start going live. <laughs> we can hear everything that we said. We're live. All right. We are live. So can you start? Oh, we are, we are started right now. All right, guys, I thought you yeah. start. We just get it started, okay? So don't get scared. Let's because, get uh, it started. Because we missed Peter for a long time. I don't know if he was scared to face uh, to face the, the the situation. I'm busy. What do you think? I have all this oh, free time busy. like you. Busy. Whoa. <laughs> he got busy once the Tonali deal fell through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> you guys make these hours all over. You want me to come here at 12 o'clock at midnight, 6 o'clock in the a.m.? You got to give the come people on. what they want, OP. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Whether it's after hours or before hours. Followers, they come first. Okay? <laughs> That's right. Exactly. So, uh, they're calling you the goat in the comments right now. The goat? The me, goat. You, they the think goat. you're a ba- oh, ah, the greatest of all time. time. You're the ba- <laughs> goat. I'm going to grow the goat, goat beard. Billy Goat Beard. Billy, Billy Goat. Billy, Billy Goat. Oh, that's Goat's your name, Billy. Billy Goat. Goat. I, goat. I like you. I like it with the shaven head and a little oh, beard right no, no, now. It's not like you missed the piece over here. Bro. Oh, yeah? Here I'm going to get a little ponytail <laughs> like, what's his name? Uh, ponytail Mike? No, not Mike. Chiricione. No. Nico. Nico who? I'm going to get a ponytail, the guy that used to play for Genova. Palacio. Oh, Palacio. Palacio. Oh, he plays for Bologna now. Bologna. And he played with Inter, you know. You, you want to be like an Inter player? Hey, what? Shut the hell up. <laughs> What's his nickname? The Raton? They used to call him the Raton. Raton All yeah. right, the Raton. Ninja. No, no, Guys, no. we are starting this live stream right now. I'm going to read out some of these comments because uh, sometimes people think that this is pre-recorded. You know, they mm-hmm. think that we're not actually live. That's what they were sa- saying last time. Really? Uh, How can we show that it's not pre-recorded? That's what I'm going to do it's right cool. now. <clears throat> can I got... punch Peter on the face and... Uh... <laughs> well, you probably do that in regular too. So... <laughs> you can <laughs> only <laughs> reach. Try to reach. Uh, <laughs> we, we've got we've got uh, Daiki who says it's 2:30 a.m. in Netherlands right now, mm. and I'm watching you. Alessio wow. says, "Ciao, lads. How's everybody going? How's everybody doing?" Jordan, uh, he says, "Hello, gentlemen. Listening to the podcast while writing an essay in university." Forza Milan. We've got Bartolomeo who says hello from Sydney, Australia. Tell him I can help him with the uh, with the uh, with the stuff on the, in the college or whatever he's writing in, the in paper the, for. In, if it's an essay, Milan fan, yeah. Send I mean, all your essays to Antonio. You heard yeah, it. Yeah, send the essays. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get it. I'll why get it why don't you give you. us the topic right now and then as we go forward, yeah, you'll you'll explain to them right you now. That right. So we had to we had to go through um, on this podcast right now because, like you said, Tonali was official today. AC Milan officially wow. announced that Sandro Tonali from Brescia joins on a 10 million loan with 15 million option to buy, which, if you ask me, is an incredible deal for just 25 million. Milan secure one of the brightest young Italian talents mm-hmm. in the Serie A. This is like a vintage Ferrari. <clears throat> so when you buy it, when you buy the car, a vintage car like that, they only make it one or two models. So uh, this guy is probably the second Pirlo that you're going to see in, in, in all Italy for the next 20, 20 years. So you imagine the value of this guy here. It can only exponentially go up. But you know, a bad thing about vintage Ferraris, yeah. you have to maintain them the right oh, way. Don't worry about the cost. So you got to make sure that you take care of them. <laughs> P, P, if you don't take care of them, you surround them with P, all junk. P. Oh. The Ferrari doesn't work. P. The driver, P. the coach is yo, the driver. Yo, you got to make sure you know to how to me. Do I look clutch. Worried? Look at me. Do I look worried to you? You look worried I'm because worried. You, you, you were... Uh, First of all, you reneged the deal on the kid, okay? First of all, you were on the kid all the time, Tonali, 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 and then the kid said, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm playing for the team that I was, uh, you know, I'm a big tifoso on. And then, you know, I didn't want a second. Yeah, I don't think it was that, know. though. What do you mean? I, you think, I think Inter didn't want him, and uh, he, wanted, oh, really? he decided to go to Milan. Afterwards. I like that better, too. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> so that guy's going to get double angry. Okay. And he, we're gonna, he's going to face For the Zerbi, it's going to be fun to watch, Oh, right? yeah. Take, in Antonio's defense yeah. Uh, yeah. to this right now, we have to give Antonio all the facts because that's what we do over here. We, right. we present the facts and then we dissect and the facts. facts. And then analyze them. Sandro Tonali posted mm-hmm. on social media, which you do not have social media, so no, you wouldn't have seen. Mm-hmm. He said, I wanted it. I dreamt of it. Mm-hmm. I asked for it. I got it. It's the shirt of my AC Milan. Does that sound like a player that's mad to be where he is? I'm You're not kidding, mad. Man. Does that sound and like a player that's mad? I read mad? on the Corriere today that he called Gattuso to find out if he wanted, if he could wear his uh, number eight. And what did Gattuso say? I'm not sure what Gattuso said, but you know that shows a lot. Of, <laughs> well, he does not. That eight. shows that somebody's a real tifoso and, and the respect that he had for a player like Gattuso. Said, hey, listen, if I'm going to be wearing your shirt, I want your your permission because I don't want to, you know, I don't want this to become a a, a problem, uh, uh, you know. Uh, no one else wore that eight. Huh? No one wore that number eight. No, Chirino. 
Did nah. they? Not sure you know one that were they eight, I no? think Ancelotti, Ancelotti, Capello, mm-hmm. maybe uh, they, uh, I'm not no, sure. I'm saying after Gattuso. No, Gattuso didn't before, wear the number eight. No, why do I, no, why do I was remember no, Gattuso. Gattuso probably picked up his phone and was like, who is this? And he Go up. through the number eight, the, the best number eight of AC Milan. I think it was one of us, uh, Ancelotti. Uh, maybe. You know, I think I think that the, the, the maybe what's it called? Me, Di Bartolome, maybe. Yeah, I know, but I can't get it at the back of his shirt. You see over here. I, I bet you the comment section will be quicker than uh, than us over here. All right. Uh, but either way, uh, Sandro Tonali, how do you feel? Again, we, we've had your we've had your opinion a little bit, but we've also got Peter over here right now, uh, who Inter did not was not able. Oh, uh, listen, to I don't know, I don't know what happened because everything was in agreement with the oh, team. Oh, they said Suso and Saponara. Oh, worry. no, sorry, not good, not good enough. Tonali, okay. Tonali so, uh, doesn't have to be afraid. To, uh, you know, at least he, you know, he gave you the courtesy, the courtesy to call Gattuso because he respects Gattuso. And he doesn't have to. I mean, well, who well, the hell would but, call hey, a great, and ask him? I think he just you, wanted Gattuso's an number. Kid, an well. humble kid just showing, hey, Gattuso, by the way, you, will, you wouldn't mind if I... Well, I hope he's more of a pillow than a Gattuso. That's what I hope uh, for you. Uh, what if it's a combination of both? That's what is going to be scary for you. Be because great. Uh, it, it, he's going to have a great feet and he's going to have a lot of toughness on, uh, on the midfield. Because that's the, the Milan formation. It's the four-two-three-one, right? So those two, four, two, I don't three. know if it's going to be. It's going to be plugged in one of one of those. Uh, in one of those, maybe AC Milan might change to four-three-three with Tonali. Well, they're saying they were saying four-three-three is the formation since they ended with that. I think that they're going to go to four-two-three-one. I think it makes more sense. Uh, yeah, oh, no, no, sorry. They're going to go to a four-three-three. They ended. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But that's I was what I'm wrong. saying. So with Tonali right there in yes. front of the defense, and then Bakayo and what's his name? Uh, uh, Benacer, Benacer, and Kessie on the other side. Yeah. And, and then, you're still uh, trying to get back then, uh, Yeah. Chala on the, on the left, and then uh, who else? Uh, uh, Ibrahimovic uh, and Rebic. Uh, Rebic. Uh, Salzmaker. Uh-huh. Oh, Salzmaker on the right, and yeah. then maybe Rebic right, right yeah, on top. Maybe. So we have a comment right now. Um, and Antonio, you were saying this story right when you walked in. You said you ran into a fan. Yeah. Do you know his name? I don't know because don't he know was, uh, we were on the car. He was driving. He, just, uh, he turned on Bay Ridge, uh, on Bay Ridge Avenue. Okay. You know this and yeah, then uh, I was with my Cinquecento. I guess, I guess he recognized me from the Cinquecento. I don't need Did he curse you out? Or? No. He said, hey, he said, hey, Antonio, I'm following you. Uh, and then <laughs> I said, careful. oh, yeah. I said, good. I said, off? I, well, he I said, but, but, but he said to me, <laughs> he said, but, but I'm a Juventus fan. I said, it's all right. As long as you're not an Inter fan. It's okay. So, Anybody, it's all acceptable as long as, yeah, you know. I believe he's in the comment section right now because yeah. he just he just commented, Moaz. He said, I spoke to Antonio on the road before this podcast. He was wearing a red shirt and driving a small Italian car. You got that right. <laughs> you see? You drive small see? Italian cars? Well, uh, the, the Cinque Cento. Ask him what color was the, the car. Well, I think well, you were wearing a red shirt. You were wearing a red shirt when you came in. Yeah, you have right there. Exactly. You don't lie. These exactly. guys don't lie. He also said he popped your tires. Antonio went fishing. <laughs> Antonio went fishing. He All said. Right. He said, Antonio, you took a few red lights while you were at it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't He's say that, but you just admitted to it. I take red and black. Anything that is red and black, <laughs> we take it. So anyway, I want to push this over to Peter since we haven't had Peter on. Um, obviously, with Inter. The decision was made to not pursue Sandro Tonali anymore, whether for a financial yeah. reason, whether for Conte valuing more a player like Arturo Vidal. Um, what are your thoughts on it, both from Conte's perspective, the team's perspective, and also for the future perspective of Inter? No, listen, they 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 were at an agreement with Tonali, so at that point, it's very upsetting that they were able they weren't able to Close. get an agreement with Brescia, especially when you're talking about numbers of $25 million, which is so in, in today's market cheap. This year happened to be a year where you're going to be able to find players on the cheap. Um, Brescia going down to Serie B could not afford Tonali. Tonali would not stay with Brescia. So you could have made this happen. And if you would have closed before, you would have been able to close. That being said, Conte obviously made his decision where he said, I love Tonali. I like how he plays, but he's not a winner Right now, he's not a proven winner. I don't want to take anything away from Tonali because I personally enjoy watching Tonali. And I think and I hope that he has a great season for for Serie A, for Milan, trying to come out of the dust. They need someone like this. So that being said, that being said, I think uh, Inter Inter made that decision based off Conte and based off Conte's demands for this year and who he wants to bring in. Also... Now, Milan have a big responsibility. What responsibility? The responsibility is to make sure... We're still sure, We are the underdog. Make sure you that you... You guys have 300 more million dollars more than me, we have. Let me finish. All right. Well, you can finish. I was going to Go say, ma- you have a responsibility to nurture Tonali. Because a player of his age, he's got a great potential, but he can get lost if he's not playing on a team that's starting. 
With Ibrahimovic, I like. But even Ibrahimovic, I don't know how much more he's going to last. So it's very important First that he's able to beat. get there and get the players around him. I like the additions Milan have made, but they haven't finished what they really need. They need defenders. They need left back, right back. They they have a lot right of work back. to do. Right back, just right back. Let me tell you Not something. Back, no. Oh, Teo yeah. Hernandez, sorry. Yeah. Let right me back. tell you something, okay? First of all, AC Milan is not a nursery, and we're not going to be nursing anybody. Tonali is somebody that is going to be plugged in and is going to be ready to go from day one, starting on second number one. As soon as there is a kickoff, no, Tonali, so. 100%. Tonali is on, okay? Oh, yeah, he'll two. be on, but is he going to be ready? That's the thing. Better start the unless listen, they change the formation. Listen, those two, three weeks, starting from today, Tonali is going to be able to find a niche for, for where, actually, I don't know, Pioli, but Tonali is one of those few players that I believe, not at the level of Cassano, not at the level of uh, Ibrahimovic, not at the level of Messi, not at the level of the Ronaldo, Tonali, or Pirlo, for lack of better words, Tonali is going to just find the place immediately because on a formation like that, even if you the first five, six minutes you look a little bit off, they can all the help that you have from a great ball handler. Tonal is going to become somebody that is going to be like a the, the free the free range, the jolly of the team. That's what I feel, okay? <coughs> and that's what I think is going to happen. And Pioli is not going to be on the position to plug him here, 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 and here. He's going to find his space. He's going to give him. He's going to give him some uh, free range to to move up and down. And then he's going to do a lot of damage for uh, for the opponent. Okay? So okay. the way the same way Pirlo played for Juventus. This is the same way Tonali is going to play for AC Milan. Now, whether it's going to be helping Benacer or it's going to help helping Cassier, or it's going to move on the forward line if, uh, if the AC Milan is an attacking team which could during the, the attacking uh, phase of the, of the game. This guy here can do it all. He can take the shot from outside, he can hit the ball with the head, and he can assist anybody. So I seen some of his highlights when I came over here, in, not because I needed to see it, but I saw some of his uh, you know, uh, skills, and I think the guy is on the money. Mm -hmm. He's got a spectacular passing skills. He's got a good vision of the game, and I think he's going to be a big, uh, a big. Uh, he is a, he's going to be. No, he is already. I'm mm -hmm. not guess, guessing. I know already. Oh, but this, at, this, this at, at this point, but this guy's for real. Brescia was one of the worst teams in Serie A last year, Ooh. and Tonali was that midfielder. And we saw time in and time out, him kind of fade away from the games. When the going got tough, he did not, sh you know, show, show that leadership. And I'm not putting all the blame on him. He's a very young player, but. Going to Milan now, where the tension is higher, the fans expect a lot. He's got to make sure, or what, rather, Milan and the coaching staff and the team have to make sure that Tonali no. is put in the right position to succeed. And I am rooting for him. I'm not trying to say oh, I'm just please, giving you. I'm a sure you're rooting for him. <laughs> you're gonna be rooting for him when he's gonna score against you oh, against the Inter. Snap. Oh my God, Pete. the tensions we'll are see. high. Oh, we'll can see. see. I want to. I want to. I have a specific question. Hey, for what Peter. is the first derby, by the way, on, on the calendar? I think it's in October. Oh, you can it's on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's coming uh, up. Uh, question for you. Yeah. Um, do you think, um, from Inter's perspective, from Inter, not just Conte, do you think it was a smart move to bet on Vidal to try to put all your eggs in the basket to win right now rather than bet on the long-term future of the player that Tonali is going to become? Because that was a little bit of a debate that we had on this podcast yeah. where some of us said Conte is betting too much right now just to try to win the Scudetto where the long-term vision of Inter should have been let's sign one of the best Italian talents right now in the midfield. Listen, I I personally love the idea to have a long-term midfield of Sensi, Barella, Tonali. One that would be for the national wow. team yeah. and one that would be for the Inter for the next five or so Very years. Good. So that would have been great to see. As for Conte, we know Conte's track record. Two, three years, top, and he's out. He knows right now his main objective is to win the Scudetto this year. If he doesn't win the Scudetto this year, He's done with Inter. Did sure. you say that the same, same time, thing last year? No, and at didn't. the same time, no. And at the same time, he's got to put his team right now in position. He knows what Vidal can bring to the Serie A team to win the league and also in Champions, Champions League. Me, I'm not saying that the objective is to win Champions League, but it I has understand. to be to get out of the... Can I challenge let me, that? Let me, can I challenge can, that? If, if we push back on that, Nying Olan was announced that he's staying. Isn't Nying Olan and Vidal a very similar player mm -hmm. where you could have kept Nying Olan, who's kind of like that Vidal type, and gotten Tonali? Do you really need both Nying Olan and Vidal? Well, Nying Olan coming in adds to the midfield, where Tonali, even this year, he would have added to the midfield, but he probably wouldn't have gotten 
as much playing time. But either way, did you either need Vidal if you had Nainggolan coming well, back? Well, Nainggolan. That's what kind of baffled my mind a little bit. Nainggolan, I personally, you know, I enjoy watching him. And when he was on Inter two years ago, he played well. The time that he was on the field, and I think he's a Conte type player. He's exactly a Conte player. Except the, the, his antics off the field. But which Conte I has said, why. I was begging for you for at Chelsea. Everywhere yeah. I went, he wanted him. But that being said, Nainggolan, sorry, but you, he's never won anywhere. So Vidal is the guy that has won on, you know, with Juventus, with Bayern Munich, the fair on the international spot, Barcelona. Spy, Barcelona. So he's no, he's at a higher level That's than, than an Angola. Well, I got a good point right yes. now. Since you, since you brought all of those teams up, okay? Only in Juventus, Vidal played, played uh, almost, it was the titular. It was, uh, you know, he Vidal, had that position. Bayern Munich he was. When he started the Bayern, he started to fade off a little no, bit. Then he went down. In Barcelona, no, was not a starter no. all the time. Come on. At Barca, was, at Barca, no, but at, at Barca Bayern, was yes. no. But ah, Barcelona way, was... Pete, listen to me. Barcelona if you grow if you grow something like that, you might look a little bit like him, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the, the rooster, uh, what do you call that? The rooster? The mohawk. Uh, mohawk. The mohawk, okay. So you might... Should you I might grow do, it? Yeah, I think you can, uh, you can handle you should that. Die so number one. Number three, number two. Let's get a marker. This guy, right this guy is got antiques too. So Juventus, I think, caught him up with the drinking or dancing or whatever the case might be. <laughs> he was drunk driving. He was dancing. Drunk driving. There's a lot of stuff going on. We got on the with bad boys. Here. Remember the Detroit Pistons, 1980s? <laughs> we got the bad boys Inter, Nangolan, Vidal. These guys, they'll, they'll rob like, your tires and break I up your like car. Nangol, I like Nangolan a lot better than Vidal because Nangolan is a lot more technical for me. He's got a lot more vision. He's got a beautiful shot. Right. And he's got a wife that is a spectacular lady just recovering yeah. from a. From cancer, I was just reading the blog the other day yes. that uh, you know uh, she had a big fight with uh, with uh, the bad disease and uh, she uh, she beat it. So let's, uh, let's also give a shout out to Sinisa Mihalovic. Who oh beat, yeah, he beat COVID nineteen and uh, uh, he coronavirus. Just came back from and cancer. he he said uh, they asked him how it was and he said compared to the last six months of me fighting cancer, he said mm -hmm. coronavirus was a uh, 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 like gra like drinking a glass of water. Wow. He said not to undermine what happened, but compared to what, everything that I was going through. So amazing. And so, also what's crazy to me is Mihailovic never got rid of his job. He right. remained as Bologna coach yeah. through cancer yeah. and through this a, coronavirus. A lot of times he was doing the stuff through like a Skype meetings for the training. He said that was the worst part there. of everything was so, that. Sorry, no. I have one last question on this. And then I'll tell you I come. I, it's yeah, gonna be go me. back. I just want to end on this last thing mm -hmm. because last week we were asked the question who we would prefer. Just to me? Yeah, mm -hmm. just for you. Okay. And, and I see a question from uh, Adriel who asked, Hakimi or Tanali, who would you take if you could only sign one of these players? Because we had a similar question last week mm -hmm. on between Kulusevski, Tonali, and Hakimi. Who was the best signing Mercato out of those signing. three? Is it, uh, I'm probably not going to be a popular decision. Hakimi. This has been a position that Inter has missed since, uh, since Mike on. Uh, with that being said, also a left back, and we, we get an experienced caller off that can play two positions. But we need the right back for a long time. And especially in this style, whether it be Conte or even other coaches, you need to have Terzini that know how to bring the ball up, that, need to, that, that can cross the freaking ball. When you have guys like Nagatomo, Jonathan, Hakimi looks like Maradona. So oh. just, to, just to, sorry, oh, you answered one second, one second, one second. Oh, one second. You added, that. you added, you you answered uh, Adriel's question, but mine between Kulusevski, Tonali, and Hakimi, who do you think was the best signing, like the best player? Hakimi. Even, the even best player, best deal. How do you? What do you mean, best player? That's a tough question. It is. Tough I don't know. We were asked best player, we best all, best deal. Oh, best transfer to to help best because player. of best, best player. player, best player, yeah. best player. Best player. Even if they're different positions, best, yeah, player. best player. You're building a team. You can only you're building a team. Blank slate. Oh, team. You could sign one of them. You could sign one of them to start your team with. Who do you sign? Kulusevski, <laughs> Somebody Tonali, that you could say is going to be the, your franchise player. Who would you sign? Tonali. <laughs> I give it to I give Antonio. Tonali. No, don't do it. Don't do it. it. Say Tonali. you're real. Say you're real. You're real. No, I mean, you never build a team around your your right, right wing back. back. Yeah. So I mean, I think Hakimi is the better player as far as playing. Player. Real Madrid, Borussia Dortmund at a young age, and he can do a lot of damage. Okay. That's but, but that's not – is is that the player that's that right. you throw, build throw your team around? Throw my question out of the – Okay. Right. Right. okay. Wait, wait. Let me Keep just going. add go, real go, quick. Go, go. what do you think about him? Do you think he was smart? Because a lot of people are saying, why bring know, in Kol – why are you bring in Kolarov? He might be experienced, but he's older. What's the sense in that? He, you got young all. there. Nah, you, don't, don't, you want it all. They want it all. They just got to get Listen, it. Listen, Kol 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 Kolarov for $1.5 million is a steal. That's true. It's a guy that you're going to be able. Young either. He's it's not a, young, but you don't have to. It's listen, a guy that don't even we play guys, on, on Bay Eight with we, us. We so see, that's why you got him. We see guys 
up to 40 years old still running back and forth. But be besides that, Kolarov gives you a lot of experience, can play two positions, which is also a position that Inter has been desperately needed because we only have one left-footed center back. And Kolarov can move into that third position and play the ball. Also, he's a dead ball specialist. Free kicks. Free special, kicks. Yeah. Free kicks Erickson, I don't know if he's going to see much time on the field, but at least Kolarov can be there and what score some goals. Say? My okay. question to you is this. Yes. So far. I love Antonio's question. So far. <laughs> they always come with a now, backhanded comment. No, backhand. so far. It seems to me that you guys are doing, uh, you have done signing to put three different teams on, full teams, like three national teams on the field. And what do you want? No. <laughs> you know that's the I part of the, the, you know what is that's what friend? we need. One for Serie A, one for Champions League, Hello? and one for Coppa Italia. Hello, English. Can I finish my question? Go ahead. <laughs> I wanted to know what is going to be. Just give me your best 11 players <laughs> that you're going to pull. If you were Conte, what would you plug them in and who would you sit and why? And yes, this, this podcast <laughs> is live, by the way. Pant so love, give me. Asking. Okay, so I, I let me do it for you. I'm okay? Wait, what's that? <laughs> I'm down. You, you just asked hey, me the question now. and you said, let listen me to me. Listen to me. Let, let me do it. Let me do it. Listen to me. Let me do it. No, listen to me. One let second. me do it. Yeah, I'm going to let you do it. But first, before you do it, we're going to have a session in this podcast every week. That you can, you can have the, uh, you're gonna ask your. We yourself, don't have time for sessions. Listen to me. You're gonna be everyone. You, you're gonna be asking yourself a question, and you have to. You gotta to ask your own, yourself. And self you have to give yourself. I do, that, I do that every day. <laughs> just I think about it. Day. Just think about it. What then are we, Freud? What is this? Don't worry about Psychology. it. Psychology. I will explain to you later. Okay. 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 Do you Freud. Need, do you need, okay. Do you need a? So you want to write on here? Give me. Do you need a second? Oh, no, I can. Oh, no. All right. So tell me. So Peter's Peter's eleven under Antonio Conte with the player signed so far, and Ed Vidal. Ed Vidal into The strongest. Me being the the coach. Yes. I. Him being the coach? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. You're Go ahead. With You're strong three, two. Be, be three, five, two. You have Champions to be. League yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to keep 3-5-2. But Andanovic, mm -hmm. then I put Bastoni. Can you record this? Because this is going to be a... <laughs> the entire thing that we're doing right now is oh. recorded. Are we live? Yeah, yeah, we're live. Hello, we're live. <laughs> okay, so Andanovic. Andanovic. Bastoni, De Vrij, Skriniar. I thought that Skriniar was no longer on the, no, on the plan. No, he's still on the team, okay. so... Yeah, uh, and I like him. <laughs> I would put... We're gonna no, no, forget wood. Wood is not part of the vocabulary. This I wanted the starting eleven. Go ahead. But What's you want my starting eleven. Yeah, your starting eleven. So Go ahead. before you continue, can you tell the people to like this video right now? Hey, you guys, can you like this video yeah. now? Wait, this guy, <laughs> like it, yeah, that camera. guys, please like this right video now. and rate it with five stars. Do a thumbs oh, up like this. Swipe, swipe. Yeah. No swiping. No, no thumbs swiping. up. Thumbs Just up. like the video. Up. Just like the video. Oh, like the video. Like the video. Perfect. Okay, nice. Go ahead. So. Andanovic, Bastoni, Skriniar, and... Uh, and subscribe. Say and, and subscribe. <laughs> no, Skriniar subscribe. And, and who? No, Bastoni, De Vrij, Skriniar. Okay. Now, okay. Number, next. Next one. The yeah. three. This is the three. Not the five. The five. Give me the, the five. five. The five. Yeah. I will put Kolarov, mm -hmm. Sensi, Barella, Hakimi. Oh, no, Hakimi. And then up top. You uh, ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah, go ahead. Oh boy, I like Ericsson and Erickson. I will put Ericsson. Whoa, now the two, now the two, Lautaro. Lukaku and Lautaro. Lautaro. Wow. wow. So, by saying that, you know how many people you're gonna you benched? I'm putting Vidal on the bench, Nangolan on the bench, Perisic on the bench, Brozovic, Brozovic. 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 No, so far he's still an Inter player. Yeah, but I think he's you gonna think he's be. gonna leave. Okay. I mean, there's some rumors, but I don't know how strong they are. Young so is on the bench. Four or Young is on them. the bench, and uh, Godin so, is on the but bench. But the thing is, wow. that that midfield is gonna be move is is gonna be moving Sanchez around. Sanchez is on the bench because Eriksen's probably not gonna play as many. Games. I put what I wanted. Then he might put Vidal in that in that uh, now, thing. He might change now, to a three-five-two. This is why I'm three. asking you this because oh, this two. is gonna create a storm. No, like it does a, not. I'm Vecino telling you. How is that a storm? I spent. <laughs> Go look at all these top teams. Look at Juventus. Oh, he's getting Ooh. mad. Look at Manchester he's United. Getting mad look over at here. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich. Yeah, what about those all those guys are, on the those bench? Are, those, but okay, but to that point, those are teams that are expected to go far in Champions League. But that's League. what but we got to create a team that can go but far you also said, in Champions League. Uh, not like we're win the I Champions said League. the objective isn't to I win the Champions League. The but the objective is to go far, yeah. as far as you can in the Champions League. You so got to bring a team that goes far in Champions League. Spend all of this what money. What do we spend? Who did we spend on? I spent. We spent on two players. Okay. Two players. The same way you guys spent on two players. Listen. First of all, we spent 1.5 million in Kolarov. Okay. And Hakimi, it's how much should we spend? It's a reject. Not even 30 million. It's not a reject. Around okay, the, listen, uh, listen. Let me tell you something. I think it was more than that. If you put, the, the if you put on the paper, if you put on the paper all the value of the players of Inter that Inter has on the squad. And what do you want? 
That's the value of the players. <laughs> That's the value of the players. So what I'm saying to you that you guys are just settling just to win the campeonato by just bringing. No, no one said that we're gonna be settling. So what is it that campeonato? you're gonna win this year? Just name it now. We have to start winning the campeonato. Serie A, Coppa Italia. Forty million for our no, team. No. They will need how much? So what yeah. are you gonna win oh, this wow. year? Just hey, it's on record. They, yeah. they, they, they will need the scudetto. Scudetto. That's only for the scudetto. You doing this? Scudetto Listen, if we win the Scudetto, oh. that is a big accomplishment. Yeah. Also, be one more Scudetto than your team right there, AC Milan. Now, all of a sudden, you guys care about the Scudetto. When Juventus wins the Scudetto, <laughs> uh, we don't care about the Scudetto. They said, I never, said, I never they cared said. about Scudetto. I they care said. very much the about Scudetto. The Scudetto for AC Milan is like toilet paper. Yeah, we don't I even see care that. About you guys don't, <laughs> never we don't even care about it. You guys haven't Dave, performed we don't in 30 years. About it. Nobody cares about right, the Scudetto. We have, we have a donation from okay. Alessio, Alessio Uberti. He's uh, from Australia, Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. Uh, he said Forza Juve from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for watching, Alessio. A lot of people all around the world awesome. um, listening. A lot of people agreeing with Peter on uh, on some of the, the players that you chose. And, yes, we are live. Um, what are we going to next? Uh, is there anything besides – oh, by the way, just <laughs> there was something that Antonio, you had told me to remind you mm -hmm. about the price of Tonali being the same price as uh, – at, do you want to mention? Uh, Lazzaro. Yeah. Lazzaro. And, and oh, you got to be kidding me. Politano. You know what Lazzaro? <laughs> Have you seen it? You go to church from time to time, right? Yeah. So if they, at some point on the church, it says Lazzaro. Alzati e cammina. In it, in, this is in Italian. In English, it's Lazzaro. Get up and Lazarus. walk, right? Lazzaro, right? Get up and walk. So Lazzaro. If you want to compare Lazzaro with Tonali, with the money, the same amount of money. But... You know, Tonali. you know Tonali economics, that, right? You, you know Sandro, economics. You can say it's Sandro. Do you know Alta economics. Corri. Do you know economics? Yes, I do. You know I supply, hope I do. Supply and demand, the market, all that stuff. Please. You can buy an Apple share last year for a certain amount and an Apple share this year, depending on how the market is. Right now, the market is low, and that's the price that's you get. One of that's, the a great deal. that's a great <laughs> deal. <laughs> that's a great around. deal. That's a great deal. Typical. That's a great deal. Okay. <laughs> Anybody, but Hakimi last year would have been 60 million. You're getting a steal at 40 million. Listen. No, no, no. no. So, Listen so to me. Your team is being found to be grossly incompetent when it comes down to selling players and buying players. Grossly incompetent. Okay? <laughs> grossly Holy incompetent. Not only I just saw something. Wow. You want to say it? Go ahead. I want to say one before. Go ahead. Bonucci. And then we'll say this one. Someone said you spent 40 million on Caldara. Holy crap. Yeah, because it was a piece of crap from it, Juventus yeah. that never played for us. That's nothing to do with well, You still spend that much money. Mike, Mike, <laughs> you, you shouldn't be talking. Well, I'm a middle of You man. guys are grossly incompetent in, in, in the like buying and selling. First of all, you gave up on the best talent. One of them is Tonali right now. What about Milan? Piontek? Piontek. What, 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 what happened? Never, what happened? Listen, first How of much did you spend for Piontek? Well, we, we got some 40 money. million. You we got the money back. For, uh, How much did Piontek go for? No, 35. We got 30. Just make How much did you sell him? Crazy. We sell him for 30 million. We got 30 million from him. Yeah, you million lost 10 Piontek. million in two years. No. Uh, okay. Were you guys good? Listen, listen. Okay. Listen. Let me just do the math for you. Okay? Let me do the math for you. Do it. Okay. okay. Can you come from 1 to 10? Almost. Okay. Forget about economics and all of those demand and supply and demand. Okay. Here's the deal. AC Milan, first of all, we do not have the money that you guys have. Second of all, what we buy, we have to make the best out of it. Third of all, we have somebody that has got brain. You okay? see this. You know, I tried to break, to break it. No. Conte said with my hammer, and go nothing came time, out, Mike. right? Did you post that? that yeah, yeah, we yeah, posted we posted it. So nothing came out because the guy's got no brain. And whoever, it, whoever is in charge of him, it's another brain dead. But okay? Milan have a brain that got ZZ's that closes those good deals. The Greek guy. Listen, oh, yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> P, P, P. <laughs> Said it at a wrong time for This guy, yeah, yeah, this, right. you guys, you guys are just, uh, you know, wasting money just because you have it. Where's what? the waste? You're was wasting a lot Where? of money. You buy so many. We bought doubles. two players. You buy so many doubles. We bought two players. We bought two players. You have, ten, two players. <laughs> you have <laughs> ten midfielders. And what about you guys? You have <laughs> ten midfielders. Ca count how many Milan? Name the me. I don't even know who the Milan midfielders are. That's how bad you guys are. Except for Barella. All of them and, and Sensi, all of them, they, they can be replaced at any time. Okay, and Milan's midfield? We don't have, we only have three midfields. Oh, we have three. three. That's a problem. <laughs> what do you mean it's a problem? Not a problem. That's a big problem. That is not a problem. Don't worry about it. We got Maldini. See, Maldini's a Maldini can go on the field. Oh, no, yeah. 
he's talking about the, the sun. sun. Oh, yeah, the me. Sun. Phenomenal. Yeah, let's, let's, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Uh, Mama, Mamadou uh, Diop, uh, thank you for your donation. He said, Antonio, you are a real one. Forza Milan. A real one what, Antonio? He's invited to the podcast. <laughs> the okay. Milan Milan fans coming out of the graves, man. They make Ooh. one signing. Listen, oh, listen. My. And the signing of Mumbai. Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic is the Undertaker. Ibrahimovic is the Undertaker. And the sign that came from Mitterland. Ibra, Ibra's hey, the Undertaker. Make sure you make a nice post Listen, with Ibra. You're going to be having bad dreams like the Halloween dreams with the really people coming out of the graves and really get to you because we're going to come out of the graves. You're right. We're coming from the bottom. When you think you were dead, we're not dead. So we never die. Same way like the last come game. Out from the grave. Have you seen the, 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 some of those, uh, what do you call the shiny? The, the movie? Yeah, yeah. The sh- Johnny. Here, here's Johnny. Right? Here's Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Right. Here's Sandro. The axe no, the no, no, no. That was another movie. Uh, here's that wasn't in the movie. I'm confusing the shiny with something else. All right. Isn't that? Yeah, the shiny was Jack Nicholson on, on the yeah. on the on the maze okay. over there. But there was another movie where okay. there were all of those bodies coming, coming out of the grave, yeah, yeah. coming out of the. the, the what about dead. it? What about it? The Walking Dead. What house? about it? What about the house? Was a haunted house. Just means coming from the But anyway, anyway, B, you gave us you you took us for dead. We're moving on. For so many times, for so many years, and all the stuff. And little by little, it's AC Milan, to AC Milan now is starting to scare you because the, the simple fact that you're talking about us, the simple fact that you gave up Pioli on Tonali. Pioli's scaring Milan. Oh, Pioli, Pioli, Pioli forget about his, it. His leg is shaking right now. I know. He's shaking on his boots. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Give him a tranquilizer, please. <laughs> hey, okay. we are on, okay? okay. Thank we God. are on. Okay. We're coming back. We have, we have a donation from, uh, from Clifford. Uh, he said, how much do I need to donate to get Antonio to send me a personalized video? What a character he is. <laughs> Numero uno. As a, a personalized video, yeah. we can do anything. So say hello to Cliff. Cliff, <laughs> you're the best. Okay? Mike, put me live. You are yeah. always. Oh, no, no, I don't no. see. Cliff, ah, you, you got it. Good Good say, it. Mike, say, it. say it again. Cliff, you got it. Right you just have to let me know when you're coming over over here. We'll invite you to the podcast and I'll make a video with you right here. <laughs> Okay, I did, I did. anything for an AC Milan fan, it's all, nothing is impossible. I don't okay? think he's an AC for Milan fan, but I'm not sure. I'm not, right. I think he's a Juventus fan. I'm like 99% okay. sure, but I'm well, a little bit scared to mention with you. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> I also saw a message from Cliff before that he said, uh, how much do I have to donate to Peter to, to rename his name P- to Peter Penalty officially? Oh, that's a lot of zeros, yeah, right? I, I take bids. <laughs> I'll change my Let's name. Move on. The right Guys, price. you spoke about Barella, um, who was the uh, the great player for Italy on uh, mm-hmm. the national team duty. I think one of the only ones that I really, when I saw him, I was like, this guy was phenomenal. Yeah. Probably led led our team. Uh, Italy, we we uh, drew Bosnia. Uh, boring for me, a very boring match. Um, and then the Netherlands match was a lot better uh, in terms of the performance from Italy, especially in the first half. Uh, I expected a little bit more from from Netherlands, uh, especially with the star players that mm. they have. And happy for Darun, who, who's called up to the national team now and all that good stuff. But Italy, uh, what do you guys think about about the, the matches in, overall, both of them, Anto? It was not extremely, uh, you know, uh, interesting. But, uh, you know, it was fought a lot on the midfield. But uh, Barella, uh, you know, unfortunately, he plays for Inter, but he's one of my favorite players because uh, AC Milan was, uh, was trying to sign the guy, so they... They kind of rub that, rub that. It's like Tonali. Tonali. Would you yeah. trade him for Tonali? Well, no, it's like we, we're trying to get even, so we, we got even. Would you trade him for Tonali? Uh, Barella, yeah. no. No, 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 because uh, Barella didn't want to play for us. And, uh, He's you know, an Inter fan. He's an Inter fan, so uh, I'll, take, uh, I'll take Tonali anytime. So okay. Tonali, I think, is going to play a big dividend for us. Okay. 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 Like Forget about Tonali. But the game, Let's the game, game if you know, if you yeah, remember. Too much. If you remember, yeah, before, the game, the, game, started, before yeah. the game started, before the game started, and I said that uh, that Barella was going to score, and just uh, you know, sure enough, you did, you did say that. You, so, are, uh, you did say, but I mean, you know. the first game, I feel like against Bosnia was kind of lackluster and stuff. It ended as a draw. I don't know. There wasn't a lot of hunger. And the second one against Netherlands, they played a little bit better. Netherlands didn't impress me. We were talking about this on the live, too. Netherlands didn't play that good. Italy played a little bit better there, too. But nothing too impressive at the end of the day. I wanted to see Chicho Caputo come in. I thought that would have been fun to see. But, uh, like, they haven't played in eight months. It's the first time they came together. So, I guess that's a huge factor in that sense. But, yeah, uh, Senzi Barella, I feel like they did uh, were the ones that sh- uh, shined. And, unfortunately, Zaniolo did get injured again back-to-back yeah. ACL injury. So, hopefully, uh, he recovers what quick. Do you think well, about the match? No, the, so, the Bosnia game, I think Inter, uh, Inter, Italy had <laughs> a lot of the possession. Uh, Bosnia with Zeko, always dangerous. He scores that goal. And Italy is forced to, to scramble. Uh, what we see, 
And what I've noticed in both games is that in, uh, Italy is missing a number nine, mm. a true number nine. I didn't watch the Bosnia Be- game. Belotti in the Bosnia game, Horrible. not Belotti good. I, of, uh, you know, it, it's something. Keen also in the Netherlands game. Well, Keen was playing on the right it, wing. Yeah, but still Luckily, didn't give that right spark wing. that you need. Uh, you know, but Italy dominated in the Bosnia game. They had. They had half chances, a yeah, lot of half a, chances, but they had the possession. Yeah, they were controlling possession. that game, and Bosnia ended up scoring first and whatever. That being said, uh, Italy in the Netherlands game, I enjoyed very much so, where you saw the tempo kind of raise. You had a little bit better quality in that uh, midfield with Jorginho back, that has the experience and also the, the knowledge and how Italy and how Mancini wants to play the ball. And then you had guys like Zaniolo, and unfortunately... It happened. What happened happened. Boy, that guy's got a lot of bad um, We're gonna talk But about him. I like a lot of these younger guys, and I just have to say it again. We are missing a number nine, and I'm also scared of when Kellini retires. We have to see who's going to take his throne because that guy is a king. Kellini? Yes. Yeah. What he did. I'm not worried about Kellini. Don't have to worry about him. But how he played that game versus Netherlands, he's a true leader in that defense. And Bonucci steps his game up Mm -hmm. every time he plays next to Chiellini. But that number nine position for Italy, I don't know what happened because we used to create great number nines. Mm -hmm. Someone's got to step out of that smoke and get in there and take that position. And I hope this season we maybe find some young guys, Pinamonte, whoever, that steps up to the plate and can maybe take that number nine position. Because for me, Immobile... I don't know what he's got. Bellotti. Maybe he's got a curse that when he wears the Italy jersey, he doesn't step up to the plate. And Bellotti, for me, well, is not a national he, team he player. He's a, he's he a good hustler, but he's not a national no. team player. I, I mean, I, the, the one thing that I said that I'm scared of with this Italy team has been the number nine. It's been for some time just because I'm still not completely a believer in, in Immobile, and I want to be proven wrong. But again, not happy with what he did. And I really wanted to see... Um, I wanted to see Moise Keen on the uh, in the middle uh, once uh, that he got hurt. I wanted to see him there, but I wanted to see Chicho Caputo. Obviously, he's older. You know, that's not the guy that's going to be our future. But like Peter said, we need somebody. Any forwards out the young Italian forwards, it's your opportunity. We're watching in the midfield, guys. I mean, we have talent in the midfield that comes out of nowhere. We have incredible talent that's going to have to sit on the bench because our midfield is so Pack. deep right now. Yeah. We need something as a number nine to come out and say, hey, I can be your guy. I'm going to be the guy to step up. I'm, I'm just, hoping that we see that. Why don't we try but to re up Balotelli? Let's try to re up Balotelli. He's a number nine. I'm reading all the comments, and all the comments are asking about uh, Balotelli. Uh, yeah. Obviously, that's. I will re up him. I will definitely re up him. Yeah, but he has to himself prove it on the know, pitch. I know. What it's, are you it's, do? We, we have a donation from Gio. He said, hey, guys, keep up the great work. I feel like Lazari should start at right back for the Azzurri and Luca Pellegrini at left back. I'm tired of Florenzi and Biragi. They are bums. What do you think? Forza Antonio. By the way, sorry to add on to Peter, number nine and the right back. I cannot well, stand seeing Florenzi and I cannot see, stand seeing D'Ambrosio as a right back. Please. Both of those guys are not yeah. right backs for Italy. But I didn't even right back to come with and play with us on Bay 8. I will bench them myself. Di, Di Lorenzo, not that good. I think it should be Di Lorenzo than Lazzari as the starting. No, it's, no. Crazy that, no. it's crazy that Di Lorenzo did not, uh, Wait, P, Di Lorenzo did not get the push to play. Think Di Lorenzo, I think I'm not crazy about the Coming uh, from listen. Empoli, he's done incredible at Napoli. No, he, he, he takes the ball up uh, nicely. He does, he does, but and all the well, stuff. Who, who so I mean, right it doesn't really get much worse. Than, not, uh, than at this Ambrosio point, look. At, at this point, I'd rather to have Candreva as much as I don't like what? Candreva. No, no. To, to say, uh, to put Florenzi. This conversation's no. over. No, both of those. I mean, to say it, to say at least uh, Candreva can right. cross the ball. I, I like Spinazzola. I think he play, he's, he's been like, playing yeah, on the left, Spinazzola but he can top. Yeah, top I player. think he can play on the right, and then you have Emerson like you said. It could and be Luca one, Pellegrini. Luca Pellegrini. Pellegrini. Give these guys the chance. That's a good in these, idea. In these, uh... I don't think you hey, need I like that. Spada Spada answering belongs, your question. No, because we have very good right left backs. We have three good left backs. Pellegrini and Emerson Palmieri. Di Lorenzo is very good and Lazzari is very good. Well, Di Lorenzo, there's Lazzari I'm not crazy about. Di well, Lorenzo, it scares me that, that he did not get the call for the second. How the hell is D'Ambrosio yeah, know, and Florenzi? Maybe something something happened in training that this guy, something's wrong that he is not playing for over them too. He's always good. But that's why. That's exactly what I'm saying is it should have been understood right away that yeah. But Italy, the thing is, it's tactics, right? X's and O's. If you have someone like Spinazzola is going to push, you need a, a more Some defensive mm. yeah, the other side. terzino. So the other side, Florenzi, I'm not too high on. D'Ambrosio is going to give you the work 100% yeah. all game. 
Listen, ask, your, good, ask yourself a question. Let, no, me, let, me, let me tell you what's going on in the Italian national team right now. The simple, fact, the simple fact that you see uh, Barella scoring, you see Sensi scoring, you see non, non-forward line players scoring, that shows the ductility of, uh, con- uh, of uh, Mancini's uh, uh, squad. In other words, we do not actually need that number, number, I mean, we don't have it now, but actually we, we can do without it because uh, a lot of those players, they can just uh, they can just play the position of a false on Weve and just to do like a... Yeah, but in those close games... When we play top when, teams. When you play these top teams in, in these close games, yeah. you need something spectacular from your number nine or even the ball's being played and he has enough composure to slot it in. Mm-hmm. When you guys, when you got guys like Belotti who ah, gets Bello. frantic every time the ball yeah, comes no. to his feet, or more no you look finish. at him like, "Are you kidding me, man? No, Go no play good. for Torino. Don't Whoosh. play for the national team." <laughs> Jesus, Peter's right. Peter's right. Peter's right. We're going, so we're going to Inter. play for Inter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have to talk about uh, Nicolo Zagnolo, who uh, went down, and the second that he went down, I will say everybody here's uh, heart sank a little bit. Yeah. Uh, went down grabbing his opposite knee to the knee they just came back. He just came back in July. From an ACL tear in his uh, left in his right knee, now he tore his ACL in his left knee. I... Just right as he's coming back, so 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 unfortunate for Zaniolo. You could tell that he's in pain. He's 21 years old. I read a stat actually today, and you know, don't fact check me, but I think Gazetta posted it saying he's the youngest um, Italian to have two ACL tears at 21, at least probably from you know big memory, recent memory. And it's, I think it's the 19th since 2014 for Roma players, too. Uh, there are some players, and we've seen this before, that just have um, a an, tendency of breaking. A, a tendency to always get injured, whether uh, psychological, because that's a big aspect of it. It's, it's you're scared where you're going to step. And, and I know from experience of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm injured with my knee, and, you know, my physical therapist. You had an me ACL, all the time, too? Not ACL. I, I tore other stuff. But he always he tells me, he's like, the, the percentage to get that injury in the next knee is very high because the way that you want to play, like when I broke my nose playing playing football, uh-huh. to go up for a header, I was not the same. I was scared fl- to start. Flinching, right? You know, when you have that kind of fear, then that's how you're going to get hurt again. And it's yeah. until you overcome that fear mm. where now I'm okay, but that can happen to certain players. So for Zaniola, my heart goes out to him. I feel so freaking Are bad. Are you trying to say that he was, so favoring, was favoring his right leg instead of the left, and then that's why... It uh, could be. It could be. It, it, mean, there's it, there's many factors. You, we don't know. You yeah. know, Some some people's knees are just not meant to mm. be playing. Like, Bajo's knees were not meant. It sucks. It sucks. He's not gotten surgery yet. It's it you know, believed the, that he's going to take... The rumor is said that they might come to the United States over here to get, uh, to, to get the surgery. That know? is the rumor. His mom said that he's probably not. Uh, but they're they're evaluating other stuff. I think they said uh, Austria. They said USA. They, he doesn't know what he's gonna do yet. He didn't want to go through. And she said, from a psychological perspective, getting the surgery in the same exact place in Rome, I believe. Uh, mm. So Villa Stuart. So it's it sucks. It sucks. We don't know the full story. But she did also say, and this was the first thing that I had said when he went down. I said, I wonder if he's gonna want to retire. And she said that the first thing he said was, I'm not playing football anymore. And get then out of here. Yeah, and then once they started talking to him That's and scary. saying, listen, you could get back, then he said it. But even, like I've said many times, Coman, when Coman needed one more ankle surgery, he said, I'm not, he said, if you make me do one more surgery, I'm quitting. I'm not playing anymore. He said, it's not worth it. Yeah. So it sucks. It really does suck. It's but uh, sad to hear. our heart goes out to Zaniolo. I hope you come back stronger. I really do. So we're talking about six old. months. So we are set to October, November, December. It should be January, longer. Months. These are, these are, April. So it's going to be ready Pro- for the, the European Championship. Unfortunately, they've we been, said last time. Yeah. Unfortunately, they've been pushing these guys for six max. months. It should be an eight months, re- uh, nine month recovery. So you said he came back too fast. Six right, months, he came back too fast. I think, even though it was another, it was the other knee. The six month time frame has proven yet again that the player gets re injured right away. And it wasn't necessary to call for Mancini to call for him a game. And to put him on the like right wing. Need? To put him on the right. The guy but is not. not I'm that. saying is Zaniolo off? is not a right Why winger. We off? need to stop seeing Zaniolo play as a right winger. It makes no sense to he's me. For these glorified right? friendlies, he's a center midfielder. Center stop midfielder. playing him on the right side. That's not a pro- he played a right he's, winger. No, he's not a right winger. He's not a right winger. He's not a right winger. He's not a false center He is a center midfielder. He gets the ball and he's getting hit every time on the right side. He does not play. I don't think Mancini he would have he probably would have gotten hurt either this. way I'm not saying that but again these I already I don't like international games unless it's World Cup I don't mm. like it but Peter is absolutely right and that's one thing that my therapist tells me all the time and my therapist works with high level uh, athletes in both basketball and in football and in soccer 
And he says, when I told him, oh, you know, you get you go back from an ACL tear in six months. He goes, no, no, no. They're putting players back to an ACL tear in six yeah. months. He said, if you want to properly recover an ACL, nine you need months. eight to nine months. He says, more so a year. And I said, yeah, but you know, younger players. He goes, no. If my nine-year-old son tears his ACL, he needs nine months to fully recover. Yeah. He said, if we're talking about fully recovering, he we could get you back in six months. But a proper ACL recovery, according to him, is eight to nine months. I want to add something too on what Marco was saying. Uh, at the end of the day, these they have doctors that the football doctors for the club. So a lot of the times, these football doctors try to do what's best for the club in that sense instead of the player in the long run. So they try to do what's best in the club's interest. So maybe they, you know, play him six months instead of wait the extra three to four months to benefit the club. So that's definitely another perspective to look at it. And maybe they've been forced by the club to say, listen, that, can, we, can you yeah, speed that, up the recovery? Yeah, that could definitely be so something like that. Whatever. Exactly. Instead yeah. of waiting the extra few I mean, months. There's a lot of money that rides exactly. on a lot of, of Again, we're not saying that he was yeah. rushed. We're not saying no, that he was just pressured another into way. anything. Just another but way I definitely do agree with that, that it, it is... It's sad. It sucks. They're club doctors. And it, what hurts is like you see these like really talented players that that they just continually get these injuries. It's hard. Mm. And I guess we'll see what happens um, and where he ends up developing. Uh, what else we got to talk about, guys? Uh, let's see what Capello, uh, what uh, what uh, Pirlo is doing with Juventus because I'm so curious to find out how uh, how Pirlo is going to mm. put uh, his uh, his guys on the field. Oh, one thing so. we one thing we didn't say. Ronaldo he had 101 uh, international mm -hmm. goals for uh, for Portugal. He scored mm. a free kick. Uh, which was which was funny. Finally, to, to see him score. I think nice Pirlo, Pirlo is gonna is gonna surprise everybody. I mean, uh, everybody's at all. He doesn't have experience and all the stuff. So I think Pirlo, Pirlo is gonna outshine anybody uh, again for some reasons. I just smell it. As we continue our conversation with any topics that we have, guys, send us in some final questions on thing on any topics and talking points that you have. Um, as we look to conclude, any, anything on anybody's mind? Um, <clears throat> Suarez. The Suarez news is that he's still trying to get his Italian passport. Uh, he has to he has to get that in order to join Juventus. I'm and surprised he doesn't have a European passport. So already. is that a done deal with the? It's, it's with not a it's not a done deal. He needs to go to the Italian consulate in Barcelona and pass his exam mm -hmm. to become an, a, to to gain a citizenship uh, for Italy. So Vidal is on the same level, pretty much. Is this his marriage? Uh, yes, she's she's Uruguayan, but I think she Italian. grew up in Italy. Did you sign Did you sign Vidal so far? Vidal's Vidal not done, but it's basically very done. close. You're also getting Darmian too. Hmm. That's another player that I'm surprised Suarez doesn't have a European passport. Yeah, he plays for Barcelona. Yeah. Barcelona is in Europe. Uh, no, besides that, I'm saying passport. Koulibaly mm -hmm. is another guy who's. I mean, every day I feel like we're getting the same recycled news over and over again. Man City need to up their offer. They have an agreement with the player, but De Laurentiis wants this 90 million. Mamma um, mia, that's so much or, money. Yeah, Man City's 90, got it. But they're saying Man City isn't really budging, oh, and there's yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't to take me, the player. To me, 70 million is a well paid, well, too much. Hey, listen, million. you got another month before the transfer that's session opens. Another if month. You're so, but the campionato is starting in two weeks, man. But the mercato still open, Anto. Another wow. thing is uh, Bonaventura signed for Fiorentina. Beautiful. So I think that's a, a very great... Spectacular sign. Very great rotation play for Fiorentina. One I think he's going to get a player. lot of players. And Fiorentina is looking to have one of the better midfields in Italy. Castrovilli. Castrovilli. Amrabat. They mm -hmm. have uh, wow, wow. Pulgar. Now they have excellent, Bonaventura. Excellent. So they they really have a great midfield to be honest. Uh, what about the forward line? The forward line from uh, Fiorentina. They have, who they have? Uh, Sotil. They have Cutrone. Chiesa. They have Ribery. And they have Chiesa. Vlahovic. There's, Vlahovic. There's some people were asking, should Juventus sign Morata? Absolutely not. Why not? Because he's not good enough to play for Juventus. He was gone for a reason. The, Morata makes absolutely no sense to sign for Juventus. It makes zero point. But he wasn't gone for that though. Point right? zero. It was a technical issue, but, but he, he was also good for that. He that was time. only he only stepped up. He stepped up in Champions League matches, but he was not a consistent player. That's and Juventus true. do not need another inconsistent number nine. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, Or no news on Or Conte to Inter again. They need to Inter need to sell before they could buy anybody going forward. They're getting you know Vidal is going to be a free transfer. It's not going to be a lot of money tied to that. For a guy like Conte, they need to sell other players before they're able to buy them. So there's nothing on Conte. You need to wait for them to sell a player, and then they'd be able to buy somebody. Milik is also going around. We don't know what team Milik can go to at this moment. Anybody have any suggestions? Because he's going to leave Napoli. Listen, 
why? Why is he leaving Napoli? The the feeling is not there. They've tried to sell him to Roma, to Juventus. He's been linked with even you guys Tottenham. Want him. You guys want him Milik no. too, right? No, no, no. But Juventus. Either. Juventus was linked with Milik. Juventus, uh, Juventus Juve, was linked Juve with Milik, Roma. but without Sarri, they're not likely to oh, go. Mm -hmm. Um so do we also got we got another donation. We got two donations. First one from Clifford. Who do you guys think should take the free kicks for the Azzurri? Ah, that's a good point. Sense is one of the good, the good one, and then uh, maybe Tonali when he stay comes back like into Inc the first squad. I like Insignia's free kick. Nah, nah. I like Insignia's free kicks. Insignia's right? fine. I think he takes free kicks. Yeah. Sensi, he almost scored the last one. Sensi yeah, yeah. is good as good free kick. Insignia, no, I don't think so. Uh, I would say uh, what else? Mm, we don't have really, not, we don't have really have a Pirlo uh, anymore that they can do that stuff. So they're no. commenting that Milik is on his last year and he doesn't want to renew. So yeah. that's why they're looking to sell him now, so that they can cash in. Mm. Uh, but again, I don't know where I don't know where Milik can what go. Kind of You're in? probably going to need a, a team that's outside of of Italy because he's yeah. got thirty to forty million. He's expensive. So I don't see any Italian teams being able to go uh, much further. We've got uh, one another donation from Gio. He says, Mike, what do you think of your Greek cousin Mikalis starting for Milan today at center back? He's the future of Greece national team. What do you is he messing that's with? That's not it? his name. Vajanidis? He put M I C H E L I S. Mikalis. I guess he was trying to say my name in Italian. I have no clue. Uh, <coughs> but Vajanidis, yeah, he started training uh, with content Inter, but I don't think he's going to stay there. Apparently, I was reading something that Genoa and Cagliari were interested. He's like 17 years old. He's a right wing back or right back. So I, I'm keeping a close eye on him. I, n I never really seen him play. Uh, for Panathinaikos when he played where he played in Greece, but uh, I'm excited for him. I, I'd welcome him if he. I'd prefer if he goes to Genoa or Cagliari so he can. Marco, uh, what is play the, over there. We have another Marco, donation. What is the chance that uh, for Milenkovic to join AC Milan? Do you think it's a, it's a money nah, the nah, money issue? No, no, I don't think I don't think there's nah, nah, deep rumors <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm talking about Milenkovic. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You don't want him to go with Savage? No, no, no Milenkovic. No, no. Mil oh, oh, no, but either way, there's no yeah. rumors. No rumor we have another donation no from Innovation Works who has a combined question for both Peter and Antonio. Mm. This is actually going to be a lot of fun. Combined <laughs> uh, you need a 4 2 3 1 formation, and he says, Give us your combined Inter Milan starting 11. Oh, I'm going to be the judge. 4 2 3 1. 4 2 3 1. Goalkeeper. Donnarumma or Handanovic? Donnarumma by far. Donnarumma. Oh, okay. Wow. All Somebody, Mike, write this down. Donnarumma. Write this down, Handanovic. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, right wait, wait, back. Gotta... Right back. Hakimi, Calabria, Conti. Uh, Hakimi, Astori. come on. Ambrose. Hakimi. Mm, Hakimi. All right. All right. Hakimi. All right, fine. I'll give Hakimi. Even though I haven't seen much okay. of this guy yet. Center I back. See. Uh, Center back. Bastoni, uh, Romagnoli, Kaiser, De Vrij. I'll take a Kaiser, Kaiser and, and uh, De Vrij. De Vrij and Skriniar. Screen, yeah. No. Okay. Kajari. Second set. Second. Mm. Okay. The right. The right. One hundred percent. Yeah. Next one. Bastoni, Kaiser, Romagnoli, Skriniar, Godin. Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. The other center. Skriniar. The other center. Skriniar. No. Kaiser. I'm. I'll be the. I'll be the. V, I'll. I'll be the pusher on this. It's gonna be Skriniar. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> you didn't even fight on that. I don't one. give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Left back. Okay. Theo Hernandez. Theo Hernandez. Theo Hernandez. Are you sure? Oh, the, now, now is where we're going to get a lot of fights. Okay. The two. Tonali, Kessie, uh, Benacer, Barella, uh, Eriksen, Vidal, Nying Olan. Guys, who's, who's going to be the two? Barella. Tonali and Barella. Tonali and Barella. I like it. Guys, we're agreeing. Right wing. Who can it be? Uh, we, got, we got plenty of options over here. Okay, so what do you, what do you, have, what do you have as a right wing, Pete? No, well, Not Salas Nick, that's for sure. 4-2-3-1, <laughs> well, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm blanking on some names. Four I mean, who could play there? Sanchez. Forget um, about Sanchez, garbage. <laughs> young. Forget uh, about Young. How are you going to put him on the opposite? I don't know. So who's on, the, who's on yeah, that play right? They, they don't play three. that formation. Yeah, right. I know, neither. Candreva. Uh, I guess we could throw... I, I think we could throw the... Uh, what about, name the AC Milan guys now. Okay. Who's Chalanolu? Chalanolu is on the left. You can put Rebic. Ah, Rebi oh, yeah, Rebic plays for Croatia over there. So you okay. can put Rebic. Listen, Chalanolo. we can move it around. It's fine. Chalanolu plays left. Maybe Re Rebic plays right. Is Rebic good I for say the right? Rebic. Is yeah, Rebic good, it's good for, for the right. right because he doesn't like it. Do you have anybody else? And then, yeah. okay. In Sarah the middle. That fits. In the okay. middle. Abra. In the middle. It could be Eric. No, no. no okay. Okay. It could be Ericsson. It could be Lautaro, too. I think we could say Lautaro could play there. Mm. It could be, um, who else? I would put Maldini's kid. Ericsson. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Ericsson? 
Come on. Would you nah, agree with Ericsson? Nah. nah. I would say, nah. I think that's, that makes the most sense. Ericsson? I would put Chalanolo actually in the middle. Right, no, behind, no, no. The, right behind the forward. Chalanolo? Ericsson. 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 Give me a break. I would have put Lautaro, but okay. Lautaro on the left. Uh, cutting in. Okay, so forward. So wait, who's the guy? Ericsson? Ericsson, bro. And on the left side. Chalanolo? Chalanolo. No, no. Lautaro. Lautaro? No way, no way, no way. Chalanolo. He can actually Chalanolo, Chalanolo can take a free kick too. Chalanolo can take a uh, yeah. Where Chalanolo did he score? Or, yeah. What did he say? Like, <laughs> Chalanolo <laughs> can take free kicks. Where did he score? So free kick. He can take them, but he can he score them? Oh, oh, oh. You know what? Oh. I went with you on the last one. I'll give you Chalanolo. Are you Thank kidding me? You. Chalanolo. You should have put Lautaro in the center. Thank I gave you, you the. He can't even pronounce his name right. Who was the lamba? Who was the top? Now number nine. Lukaku. Lukaku. Yes, Lukaku. Hey, Lukaku didn't even shine the bottom of the shoes of Ibra. Ibra can even move. Even now. On paper, it's Ibra, Ibra 1000%, not even one eye. We'll Ibra let the fans go, guys. Yeah, Ibra Lukaku. or Lotaro? Lukaku. Comment, oh, Lukaku. Ibra, uh, Ibra. Comment Ibra. below who is going to make it. I like how he Another says, so right wing. Ibra, 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 Ibra. <laughs> right Ibra, 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 Ibra. Are you crazy? Ibra! <laughs> <laughs> Get this guy a Prozac. Another donation, he said, Prozac. who's your dark horse to make top four? Top four? Now Milan. <laughs> okay. The dark horse. What does it mean? The dark like, horse. Like who's not expect like Atalanta who, uh, a few years ago. Atalanta. It's always. It's always. Uh, yeah, I'm saying an example. That was an example. I would say someone was, said Leao. We could have put Leao. Elas Verona okay. maybe on top. Mm, Elas Verona. No. Nah. Can I say Milan as a dark horse? No way. For, we for are on the top three. Are really Why not? We are on the top three. Forget about the top. I'm four. saying Milan. <laughs> he said top three. He doesn't. Not even. Oh shit, the top yo, four. Mike. We we got actually a correction, a Greek correction on you. What mm -hmm. are you talking Damn, about? Damn, Gio sent another donation. He said Mike. Oh, it's Michaelis. Mi okay, I know what you're talking about. Now you know. From Asteras Tripolis. Yeah, I know yeah, what you're talking Mike. about. They said Mike. It's Nikos Michaelis, he played yeah. today versus for Milan versus Vicenza. What do you think he has Actually, a future? I totally forgot. Do you about know him. about him? I I remember his transfer. I knew he came from Aceras Tripoli. Uh, but was that Serie D? No, it's Serie it's Serie A in the uh, oh, Greek wow. Super League. But mm. uh, I don't know. Like I don't know any. These guys are all like ah, 16. Hell, you don't know a Greek player. Mike. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't believe that. Here <laughs> for <laughs> kick him out. <laughs> Throw him in the bathroom. If if they play like if the they're Greek 19 or 20, these guys are playing for their U. Uh, you like the U19, U20 in Greece. Uh, I don't wait, we have so we have a fun. Tough. You know, we like to we like to ask fun uh, fun questions to end off right now. We're gonna we'll take this as the last one. Thank you for everybody who's been here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, Mike, was the dark horse was the dark horse. Was the, uh, I, said, okay. I said Milan. Milan. No, we're not the dark horse. I don't think we are. We are Mike the... C asks, "What is your favorite Eros Ramazzotti song?" Me, the legend Eros. What is uh? Mine's Più Bella Cosa. It has no. to be. It has I to. Know, I don't know the names. Of Più the Bella Cosa. No. No. Don't that's, that's, yeah, that's the most popular one, right? Pew Bella no, Cosa. No, no, no. no? Come on, know. it has to be Pew Bella Cosa. Do I don't one? know the title of the uh, song. What's the song? Laurora, I like. No, una What's vita na na na. Un mondo di promessa. Na na. Oh, yeah, una promessa. No, that's it. In a dimension. That's it. Una vera promessa. Un mondo di promessa. Dove crescere? In a dimension. Forza Milan. Is it Juventino? So that's we showed that we yeah. live, man. Oh hey, I can God. actually smack my life, right? <laughs> yeah, smack. But him. you can smack me when it's not live. They either. said Totti, uh, Totti's favorite song is uh, Pew Bella Cosa too. You see? Um, yeah, that was also, my favorite song. Last right? donation from Patsy. Thank you everybody for the donation. She said, Antonio, would you agree or disagree with this statement? Antonio Conte is a little bitch. Oh my God! Oh, God. Actually, that. that is not going to go. This is not going far enough. <laughs> he's, a, he's a little bitch. Yeah. It's worse than that. Well, what is it? I definitely agree with a that. Big one? I definitely agree <laughs> with agree that. With it's a no-brainer. No-brainer, no -brainer. little bitch. Uh, I also okay. want to add one more That's thing. Yeah. Uh, Nesta, there was a there was a little quick thing with Nesta. <laughs> he was supposed to. There was rumors that him joining Pirlo's coaching well, staff at Juventus. Spectacular, spectacular. But no, Nesta it's not said, happening. It's not happening. Yeah, he said Nesta uh, confirmed it was true, and Nesta mm -hmm. also said. I love to do that, but I want to be a first team coach. Okay. So a lot of respect. A lot of a lot of teams would just jump ship and go to. By the way, so Mike stuff, Mike C Nesta. Mike C said that was amazing since we answered his uh, his Eros, Eros question. He said that's amazing. <laughs> Last thing, Ilicic returned to Bergamo and returned to Atalanta. Grande Happy Ilic. to see him for the new season, guys. Everyone that watched us live, thank you so much. The audio version will be available. You'll be able to rewatch it if you joined late. Just check. 
Um, just check our YouTube channel. It'll be there. Thank you for everybody who donated. Like and subscribe and read the podcast. Say it, Anto. And swipe anytime you want. Uh, <laughs> rate it with five stars. Put like. What thumbs is it like? Yeah, like is thumbs up. Okay, thumbs yeah. up. It means like. Uh-huh. Yes. Swipe, subscribe, subscribe whatever all you got to do. Yes. Okay, you know the old, uh, the old nine yard. Okay? Oh, God, we have one last oh, uh, one donation. Last question. I'm go sorry. For it. Go for it. Nidal, uh, he said, who do, how do you think Napoli will line up? Four, two, three, one. We got to bang this out. You know what? Medit in net. Can we give? Can, no, if I'm I making think, it, I'm putting Meta. I'm not putting Ospina. Hey, but what, are, what about our friends feel? Is it not a, a, what, what, uh, I what think we should, we should bring him in to find out what's going on with Napoli. We'll Napoli has been a big question mark for, uh, for before That's even true. the beginning of the season. There's all of these rumors of people leaving or uh, not having signed player except for uh, what, what's the name of this guy here uh, that they recently Ossie signed. Man. Yeah, Ossie, Ossie man. man. So what happened with Napoli? It's a lot of people on on the way out, yeah. like uh, Koulibaly, like, uh, uh, like uh, so four two three one uh, in net. Ospin, I think. No, no, no. I would no, say no. Medet. Medet is going to take it. Medet, Medet is going to take it. Okay. All right. It's fair enough. Ospina. Okay. okay. Right back uh, has to be. Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Center back. It's going to be Manolas and Socrates. Uh, Socrates? Uh, no, I'm he's saying, not here yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, saying, I'm assuming. Ramani. What you saying? If the from Mercato Verona. Two Greeks. Two Greeks. From Hellas Verona. Oh, my God. What a mess. This is why the Greek origins from Napoli are returning. This is what I like to see. So, Koulibaly or Socrates. Left back. Who's their left back? Um, Rui. They got to get another yeah. left back. Oh. <laughs> Gulam, like, Melio Gulam. Uh, the two in the midfield is going to be... Dem and... Ruiz. Mm-hmm. Fabian Ruiz. Uh, Ruiz Fabian sure. Ruiz. Dem yeah. and Ruiz. Or no? doesn't Ruiz play? Zielinski. Fabian Ruiz or is Zielinski. Zielinski. No, Zielinski plays Zil- slightly on the left. But Zielinski, no, is he a starter? No, on the center, on the like center right there. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what I like to see? What? The... F- the guy that I grew up on AC Milan doing a lot of damage. He's oh. just, uh, he just got transferred oh, Petania. to Napoli. Petagna. Petagna. You know, I Petagna, think this guy... I smell he's going to do very well over there. I'm, I'm skeptical. You know who I think is going to do well? I think this Oshiman. I, I don't know how to say his yeah. name correctly. With that much money, he better. I think, I think he money, actually might. Bro. Yo, he's also adapting the, the, the lifestyle of Napoli. You mm-hmm. could really tell he loves Gattuso. Gattuso he, likes him a lot, He spoke too. so highly of Gattuso. He mm-hmm. said, you know, he's a man that says tells you straight to your face. Yeah, he's um, going to beat him up. <laughs> he's also somebody he said like he loves his seriousness seriousness uh osiman also said that um de Laurentiis and gattuso have been like father figures to him already it's pretty high yeah, praise being there less than a praise. month i think yeah. the guy's gonna if you adapt to that culture kind of like mertens who's and kulabali who are both adopted napolitani you know i think that you will do well and i think that he will do he well i a, hope he will he has a with that price tag he has a lot to I prove think he has a Napoli need to couple fill. couples couples very good signing to just we'll be get able to we'll compete. bring we'll bring uh, ludovico or phil on mm-hmm. and uh, we'll have it uh For juventus sure. talk we did have maybe my friend gino my friend gino once in a while he watches the podcast and says something nice about napoli so until then guys listen we're swiping out right now so we're all done it. right swipe yes, out swipe up it. whatever yeah. and like like it with and the subscribe. thumbs up right subscribe exactly. and all the stuff yeah, as right, always so. guys thank you for watching so much Ooh, we'll ciao. Soon. ciao ragazzi forza spezia let's go baby spezia. yeah i love spezia